Good afternoon. My name is Mariano Alvarez from the Polytechnic Institute of Braganza and I'm going to present the work titled Automated Ceramic Tableware Finishing a Laboratory Prototype for Concept Validation. This work is involved within the scope of the STC 4.0 HP project. The main objective of, for this project was the integration of the work previously carried out with a PC who is in charge of controlling the system and with a collaborative robot that is in charge of handling the ceramic piece. As a particular goal to achieve this objective, it was proposed to modify the program that controls the device, so that is the PC who, is, who will be in charge of the controlling. Make a program for the collaborative robot that allows manipulation to the ceramic piece as well as making a program on the PC that receives the signal and controls the system. The device that was developed in a previous instance of the project consists of a sponge that is driven by a DC motor whose speed is controlled by a PED. The position is controlled by a stepper motor and a lead screw, in conjunction with an LBDT that is responsible for measuring the relative position of the device. A current sensor measures the current consumed by the DC motor in order to obtain the force applied at the ceramic piece. Both the reading of the sensor and the PAD controller are governed by an Arduino Uno microcontroller. The robot used for this application was a KR810 from the company Castle Robots with the following characteristics. The communication between the robot and the PC was implemented through a Modbus protocol and an Ethernet connection. The control program on the PC was made with the Lazarus software and the communication frequency between the device was 30 Hz. In this slide, we can see an image of the integrated system. To the left of the first image is the robot holding the 3D printed test and to the each right, the finishing device which is in charge of removing excess material of the piece. In the second image, we can see a diagram showing the intercommunication between the different devices. Here we can see a block diagram of the implemented state machine, which has six states, and go from state to state as the flag are activated. Once the software was implemented in the computer and interconnected with the robot and the finished device, a test was carried out obtaining the data of the current position and speed of the sponge together with the state in which the process is. In this graph, we can see how the position of the device is adjusted to keep the current within the established margin. It can be concluded that an integration between a finishing device and a collaborative robot was performed in order to automate the assembly process of a ceramic image, and it can serve as a starting point to continue with the new approaches. The communication between the device at a frequency of 30 Hz was enough for this application. It was possible to include a computer responsible for decision making and control of the action through the creation of a state machine. Besides that, the software Lazarus Usage allowed the creation of a graphic interface for user interaction and visualization of the data in real time. The integration compiled with expected behavior, being able to control the position according to the sensor code, which is proportional with the force that is done on the sponge by the ceramic. And the collaborative robot was able to move the 3D plate according to its radius and rotate around its center. As a future work, it proposes that the position control is performed by the collaborative robot, allowing a higher precision and better control to face different shapes of plate, such as a robot, in which the trajectory is not constant. It also proposes that the use of force sensor on the robot instead of the current sensor that is being used now in the finishing device. Besides that, it is expected to use a suction cup to hold the ceramic, taking into account 
are a cloud of points of the PC, making it possible to calculate the center of the and radius. Lastly, it is expected that the system could be applied within the industry once improvement in robustness are made. Thank you very much for your attention.